Hello guys, welcome to the Tuesday forecast. So let's take a look at the Euro and the US dollar. This pair has been heavily range bound. What I am seeing, I'm seeing a descending structure going into an ascending structure, going into another descending. So right here, this would be the ascending. And then we have right here another descending structure. So currently heavily, heavily range bound. And for me, I'm not trading this because I want to see a trend. So if I don't see a trend, I'm definitely staying out. I do like this descending. So if I do see really, really clean price action, like a clean, clean, more of a descending and then a reversal, then I would take a trade. But it really needs to be clean price action because if you take a look at this, we are just in a large, large range. So I am looking for the price to push out of this range, give me a large impulse and then look for a flag to the upside or to the downside. Also, I am looking at these sort of, let's say, liquidity areas. And if we do, as I said, get a clean descending into the liquidity area and then reverse, I will take a trade. Or if we get an ascending into the upper liquidity area and then reverse, I will also look for a trade. But currently sitting on my hands and waiting for the price action to develop a bit more, I want to see some nice momentum and some nice clean. Uh, so some nice clean impulses. Um, and now let's switch to the Euro and the Japanese Yen. There was an opportunity to enter on a trade. So as I said in the prior forecast, we had this ascending structure. So right here we had this ascending and then we pushed to the upside. So that is a common pattern on the Euro pairs where we get an ascending and then we start trending in the same direction. So right here there st here started a large trend. And at this point I was definitely looking for a flag. But what turned me off of any trades was that we got one candle aggressive retrace and then the second candle with an aggressive retrace which on the Japanese pairs is a no trade for me. So this right here, this aggressive retrace with a, with a wick on the top is a pair characteristic for the Japanese pairs where I uh, don't take any trades. So if I see this, I stay out because we usually either form a large range after this or we actually get something like this and then we reverse to the downside. So very, very common pair characteristic that this signals a reversal or a larger range. So I stayed out of uh, this flag. So right here, this would be the flag entry point. And for me, this just did not fit my plan because of the aggressive retrace and I would get stopped out. So it was good that I actually didn't get into this trade. I wasn't even looking for um, for the price to reach to reach the combo level, which would be here. So the, for the price to descend to my entry level, because as I said, this aggressive retrace uh, negated any trade for me and I was waiting. So I'm still waiting for the break of the low or the high. What I can expect on this pair is that we will just continue to range. We have already started to range, but I think that will continue. So we need to see what happens when we break the low or the high. If we do break the high with some nice large momentum, I will be looking for a trade since the, then this is a large established trend. We had one impulse, small pullback, second impulse, large pullback, and then we continue to the upside. So that would be a, a nice trend. If we do shoot to the downside, I will also consider taking a flag, but it needs to be a large, a large impulse. If we do ascend into the upper liquidity area, I will look for a reversal trade very very high probability pattern or if we descend into the lower liquidity area i will also look for a reversal to the upside that's about it for this pair uh currently i classify this as trending to the upside and i would like to see it break the high so i can get in on a long trade but i do believe we will just continue ranging because of this uh indication because of this aggressive retrace let's now take a look at the Aussie and US dollars, so the Aussie pairs. And this one had a really, really, really clean descending structure. Really, really clean. As we can see, we broke the low retrace, broke the low retrace, broke the low retrace, 
had this sort of a smaller descending inside of a larger descending so for me this is a very high probability to reverse to the upside and we are getting some momentum right here so for me this does look okay nothing special i have to say but it does look okay and if we do get a larger range i will consider taking maybe a so taking maybe a combo trade something like this uh, because as i said i'm seeing this smaller descending inside of this larger descending i'm seeing some momentum to the upside but i'm also seeing a uh, huge wick right here when i see a huge wick i want to see that range play out and if the range plays out i will be placing my pending order at the combo level which would be right here um so yeah if if i do see a range right here i will be looking for uh looking for a long trade i would like to see the price push to the upside then i would look for a flag or i would look for a break and a retest trade something like this so i would like to see a trend to start to the upside that is what i would really like to see a nice large trend because as i said when we get a descending and then a smaller descending we usually reverse to the upside and start trending up if we do get an ascending from here i will look for a reversal but it needs to be clean price action because we are getting a descending into an ascending structure so this really needs to look very very nice and clean what can happen we can get more of a descending if that happens i will also look for a reversal and then that would be also very high probability since we would get this smaller descending inside of this again larger so larger descending right here and which is very high probability to reverse so that's about it for this one also what i can expect is uh, we can get this sort of a v something like this get the small range reverse down look for a short trade but uh, not really expecting that it can happen but i think we will actually start either trending to the upside or we will get more of a range in this sort of an area so let's see what happens i'm definitely looking for a long trade as i said if i see more of a range i will place a pending uh, order at the combo level so yeah for the last pair so for the aussie and the japanese yen uh, what i am seeing so we were trending up we did start to trend up right here and then we had an aggressive retrace so i did stay out of this trade also at this point i didn't have an order on at the most recent high then we got one aggressive retrace candle and we got the second aggressive retrace candle so we got this v so i was actually expecting for the price to push further down and i wasn't looking for any long trades because of this aggressive retrace and then we actually did start to descend right here so right here we started to descend and then we broke broke the high retraced broke the high and then we got some momentum we got the two candle push right here uh, which ended with a wick but what i am looking for i am looking for if we maybe get an opportunity to enter on a combo trade so i will definitely consider that because i know that combos usually play out good on the aussie and the japanese yen so if we do get a combo or if we do get more of a range something like this i will consider placing a pending long order at this level because i'm also seeing so i'm seeing that descending structure usually when we get a descending we look for a reversal because usually a trend to the upside will start i would also really like to see a push to the upside and then uh something like this break and retest trade or a large push up would be very high probability look for that nice flag if we do start to ascend i will consider taking a reversal if we do descend from here i would i would probably not be looking for a reversal since then that would be an ascending uh, oh, sorry a descending into an ascending into another descending signaling to me actually further ranging price action so i would i would maybe expect that 
that something like this will happen. Uh, so yeah, also we can get a V, we can get this V, small range, then look for that short trade, always a possibility and it is a high probability setup that I do forecast. Uh, but yeah, let's see what happens. As I said, currently I'm seeing a descending structure, I'm seeing a reversal and I'm considering placing a pending order, order at the combo level so since combos do play out really good in this pair. But one concern is that we are forming uh, two wicks right here, so I would probably need to see more of a range to consider taking any trades. So yeah, that's it for the forecast. Um, not really uh, getting some really nice moves, but we are getting some uh, some potential and some nice impulses. So let's see what will happen. I am considering taking a trade on the Aussie pairs and for the Euro pairs, I am uh, sitting on my hands. So that's it and I will see you guys tomorrow.